All right, there's another boat that I picked up. The outdrive seems to go in gear, but it's making a kind of a bad howling noise. So probably not gonna fix this boat. I think I'm just gonna take some stuff off it. I like these little doors here, little window doors. As long as they're not cracked, I'm gonna take them both off. And then I'm gonna yank the motor because it runs, 350 Chevy motor, pull the motor out of it. And then I don't think I'll keep anything else out of this thing. I don't know how many hours it has. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know what's in front of it, but maybe 500 hours. Alright, so it does run. But it's got a weird howl to the outdrive. is but I'm just gonna yank the motor pull whatever I want off of it I might take this off mm, the rest of it I'll pull these windows out pull the engine pull the out drive and then just crunch up the excavator I mean the body is not in bad shape but I'm not gonna fix it I might try to sell it. I'm not sure. This trailer is not as good as I was hoping. It's pretty rusted through. I don't know if these outdrives are any good at all or what goes wrong with them. OMC, to me it's all trash. It's probably a really nice boat when it was new. But I don't care. It's just... I don't know if these are worth saving. Is there any of this stuff? I'll probably pull these decks off the back. Swim steps. Alright, about to pull this motor and outdrive out. I'm not super familiar with OMC. Other than I know they're just junk. But, um... See Merc Cruiser, there's a bolt here and a bolt here, and then the motor mount bolts. You just connect the bellows and the wiring, shift cables, throttle cable, and then the fuel lines, and this thing just comes out. This I'm not too sure about. So motor mounts are out, it's built to junk, so I just cut this piece out here. And then I'm gonna lift it up out of here and put it on a pallet. And then crush the rest of the boat up. After I get the little windows out, I want these little windows. Why? I don't know. Maybe put them on a different boat. But, oh, and I'll probably pull the fan out of here. That fan. I don't know if there's another one. Looks like there might be. Might be not. But, I guess still got to disconnect the steering cable on this the shift cable and the steering or the throttle line and that's it I think Here's the engine. See if there's any cracks in the block. I don't see any. I don't know what 
what that bolt hole's for, but the drain plug is right here. Drain all the water out of it at least. All right, draining the uh, drain plugs on these things, it's best to have something like a screwdriver, something really skinny to poke through the actual engine all the way once you get this little plug, plug out. There's a lot of rust and sediment that sits at the bottom of these. So you see all the rust. You gotta, every time, just clean it all out, get the chunks out of it. Otherwise, all that stuff just sits in your motor when you're not having any water in it. There's a lot of stuff in them. I got pretty much everything out of this side. Well, that's it. Motor's out. Just uh, three bolts here, three here. And it looks like I missed one on each side, but that's okay. Because it's still in the wood, so... I couldn't see it, I think. But three in the front, four in the, three in the back. And then I don't know how this comes out. It looks like you had to unbolt everything, which looks like a pain in the butt. Like right there, all this bolts up, it kind of sucks. So pulling these things out is a lot more work than a Mer Cruiser. Cause Mer Cruiser, this is one. Cause everything just slides together. So you got the bolt hole the bolt hole and all that bolts up to this mechanism plate right here because this is one of the bolt holes here there's another one right underneath this steering and that's all that really holds it into the actual frame of the boat and then the two motor mounts and then the motor just comes out after you get all the little shift cable and stuff like that apart but this is a good motor this is, uh, I don't know what's going on with this crank. It's kind of weird. When I was running, it was kind of shaking, so I don't understand. I don't understand what the what's going on here. Maybe the bolt broke or something. Not quite sure. I definitely would much rather work on a Merc Cruiser boat than any other boat. And I was knocking this bearing out the other day, and I didn't realize... This is the gimbal bearing. I didn't realize they shift inside itself. I didn't know that. I thought they were just flat bearing and that was it. But I guess it has to move around in there for the uh, drive line not to get damaged. This part goes in the gimbal. This little shaft right here, so. It has to be able to artic articulate, move around in there for when the outdrive comes up and down, when you're trimming it up or down. 